night a police officer is pressed and depressed. He says he is targeted and threatened. That's why the bosses seem not to care. This is the story of a frustrated serviceman. If anything happens to me. On January 26 this year 2021, Corporal Alfred Nyikuri, a police officer attached at Kondere Police Station, was assigned traffic duties by his seniors to man traffic flow along the Mamboleo roundabout in Kisumu. Senior Sergeant Sergeant Charles Charles As protocol demands, he had no other goal than honoring the command. Alfred remembers vividly what he encountered the same day. A battle fight between the two had just begun. Immediately, the regional police commander and Mr. John Karanja Muiruri summoned the officer to his office. Hapo ndipo tulikaribisho vizuri na regional police commander. Katuweleza tukaya chini. Wakati tulika, akasema ametuita. Mimi, Kopro Alfred Wefofo Nyukuri, nyombe musama. Kuwa, nilikuwa nae katika muvinyo, ama kwa ba, tukijua pombe ya nikamueleza, yeye, palea kutafuta pesa na tusumbua. Na kasama mimi siku mutambua, sababu alikuwa mevaa miwani, na alikuwa mevaa kofia hii ya usi na hituwa Marvin. As a principled man, the junior corporal of police says he declined to apologize. But why? Mimi nika tinda kuomba musama, sababu siku sema ye maneno. Asinga weza kusema. The senior officer commanding the Nyanza region and AIG of police got upset and chased the junior officers out of his office. A day later, he says, they had been duped. They now had a charge of disobeying a lawful command to answer to. Sababu tumepatikana tukifanya kazi malipa moja. Ili hali kuna communication ama sikino kutoka kwa deputy inspector general ya kusema watu wasifanya kasi mahali pamoja. The police signal being referred to here was shared from the office of the DIG Mr. Edward Mbugwa halting all static traffic checks across the country. The signal got to Kisumu late. In fact, Kondele police station OCS and the base commander had no idea of what that signal was about. Na mindi yo nikauliza iyo, iyo sikino ya kusema tusifanya static ilifika lini. Akasema, basic commander akasema hacha yipokea. Na mbona tunatumiwa na pato hatuchaelezo. While all this was happening, Alfred had attended a promotion board at the National Police Service Commission and passed all the interviews from the district to the national level. He was then supposed to attend a six-month training course at Kiganjo starting February this year. Sasa hii, nile ya kuchulisho kuwa nikuwa ni mefaulu kuenda Kiganjo na china langu ndio hili hapa niko siriyo 13. The course was a promotion from an uncommissioned officer NCO to a special officer of the inspectorate rank SOIP. I was given a matching order from OCS to go to Kiganjo. I was given a matching order from the regional police commander. I was given a matching order from the regional police commander. I was given a matching order from the regional police commander. I was given a matching order from the regional police commander. I was given a matching order. At this time, the officer was pressed between a rock and a hard place. He was missing his chance at Kiganjo. The confusion had started depressing him. Even though it, even though it was late, Alfred says he had to use all means necessary to secure an entry at Kiganjo Training College in Nyeri. Training 
akaniambia hapana iko barua hapa imeandikwa kutoka mahali ulitoka nikapitia ofisi ya deputy inspector general inasema uko na case ya disobeying lawful command kosi yako kwa sasa imekuwa cancelled natosha uelekea hadi Kisumu kule Kondele uende ukasulishe hiyo case wakati ninapotoa muziko ikawa mwenzangu ashafika tiara kuni replace he got back to Kondele police station a very disturbed father osi sasa kanieleza kuwa Jumatatu niende nikamwona tuje na police commander sababu hii barua yeye hana habari kama nilikuwa na makosa. Baffled, he had no choice but to seek audience with the regional commander so as to secure his dimming glory. But his hope was almost hitting a dead end. Wakati nilikuwa tunakaribia kuingia nikaambia mimi nisiingie ningoje nje. Arti yao kadi alitoka pale akanieleza nyukuri, Richard na police commander anasema hata yuko kuona. Anasema wewe ushitakiwe na makosa ya disobeying lawful command. Alfred was then forwarded to a disciplinary committee to investigate and prefer disciplinary and action against him. It was now a must for him to try and piece up courage to face the board. So nikasomewa mashitaka kuwa tarehe 27 hapa mwendo wa saa 10:30 nikiwa na wenzangu ambao tulikuwa nao kazi. Nilifanya kazi ya static traffic check kinyume na DIG's order ya kusema watu wasifanye static traffic check. Alfred was now an accused person. Hakuna mahali nilipukiwa kwa OB kwa ni disobey lawful command. Ndio shahidi ambaye alikuwa ni mmoja ile ambaye ni defense commander akakuja kuwa akaelezana kwa deploy this to kufanya kazi ya foot patrols. Na alipokea simu kutoka account commander kwa tunaitwa. Wakati nilifika huko ndipoza akachulishwa kuwa tuko na makosa hayo. Lucky for him, he won the case and was now hopeful of continuing this promotion course at Kiganjo. But this again happened. Nimetolewa masomoni ambaye nilikuwa nimeangojea kwa muda mrefu sana na nikasoma nikapata shahada ya degree nikitarajia kuwa itanisaidia nipate hiyo madaraka ngasaidia familia yangu ninapoenda huko ni jua progress nikaambiwa nichitayarisha kwenda transfer yangu ilikuwa imetolewa kuwa naenda transfer kutoka Kondele police station Alfred was praying for a second chance nilipoteza mtoto wangu wa miaka 5 through course hadi nikawa transferred kutoka Mombasa hadi karibu na nyumbani ni combustion and ground sababu bibi yangu alikuwa ame, 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 ameshikwa na depression kufikia mwaka wa 2017 huyo mtoto alikuwa amebaki akiwa tole fears na alikuwa mwanafunzi kule Buka Academy bia akaaka the rain started beating him immediately arrived in Kisumu following a successful transfer from Mombasa nishai fanya vetting 2016 nikapatikana na makosa ya kusema kuwa nilipatikana nikiwa nimetumia wakubwa wanaofanya kazi chini yao pesa. So wakati nilikuja pale nikaona hiyo inaendelea nikaona mimi sio sitoa pesa tena nikapeane. Hasa vita zangu sikaanza pale. After being hit by the emotional tragedy he was in trade for, the police officer now says his life is in danger. Kando na hayo naweza pelewa kule kule Remba Island labda nikawawe huko nikuwa executed. Alafu waseme sababu ya shida zile mimi niko nazo nimecommit suicide after being convinced the junior police officer needed urgent help to save the situation and shed off his tears we wrote officially to the inspector general of police and handed over this letter to him in person all key allegations in this report were noted as we requested for an audience with the man in charge of the over 2000 police officers and by extent the head of the national police service in kenya at the same time we alerted the internal affairs unit after failing to get an official comment from the Nyanza Regional Police Commander Mr John Mwiruri for almost four months while we were piecing up this story the inspector general promised to give us an official feedback but over three months now there has been none by the time of publishing this story However, our sources within the National Police Service have shared with us an official letter from the National Police Service Internal Affairs Unit, which clearly had a positive response to the matter at hand. The Deputy Inspector General Kenya Police Service looked into the matter and in his response informed us that you'll be given a chance to attend a similar course in the next assembly in Kiganjo. We confirmed the letter was official and it was referring to Alfred Nyikuri, our case study. Alfred is one among the many police officers going through frustration from their seniors and by bad luck end up being victims of horrific tales. Si adwezi kwa tunateseka. Wengine wanaenda kabla wauwe ama they come to us. For Vivian, she has not been available for an interview, but when reached for a comment Mombasa police commander said the matter is under probe. I would like even to address my excellence who can never. 
Aondoe tu kabisa hii ofisi ya ndano la sasa. Hakuna ofisi hapo. Tunabeseka. Hii ofisi iko hapo but full of corruption. Corruption ndio iko nyingi. Na wanalipwa. Kwa nini wanalipwa? Unalipwa kasi na bado unafanya huwezi deal. Kwa nini wanalipwa mshahara na Hawezi deal cases. Alfredis case is a wake up call to the National Police Service to be more keen on the welfare of grieving officers. A good number of them the society are oppressed and depressed. That's why we keep tunaua watu. Kwa polisi wanauana tu kwa sababu ya hii shida. Franklin Wala for the crime beat.